Look at all these people digging tons and tons of sand from beaches all around the world. After a couple of weeks of extraction, these beaches will become literally unrecognizable and very much uglier. Except this process is entirely illegal and it's seemingly becoming one of the most lucrative form of illegal business in the entire world. People have been killed for what is pretty much just sand and murders are still happening all over India because of it. This is what's now being called the sand mafia. This mafia is composed of illegally operating groups stealing tons of sand every day and is happening pretty much everywhere around the world, in various levels of course. Here they are in China, in India, Nigeria, Senegal, Cambodia and so many more places. These images here are from Morocco. It's one of the countries that's been suffering the most from this sand robbery situation. Actually half of the sand used for construction in this country is illegal and that leads to extremely dangerous situations happening. But why on earth would you even steal sand in the first place? It's literally everywhere and it's not even that hard to harvest either. Well that's quite an interesting question and the answer to it is just as compelling. Because you see, sand has become one of the most important commodities out there. It even rivals natural gas and oil in certain cases. Only water is used more than sand. And that is because it's a major ingredient to create this megacities or maybe just buildings in general if you prefer. The existence of all these towers and cities relies on sand being easily accessible. That is because concrete is the best construction material ever made. The thing can last up to a hundred years on a building while keeping its rigidity and being generally very resilient. The process of making it is also very straightforward. To make a typical block of concrete, you need 10% cement, 20% air and water, 40% gravel and crucially 30% sand. So as megacities and just buildings in general are rising everywhere around the world, the need for water eroded sand just grows at the same rate. But there's a problem here because a very important detail to keep in mind is that desert sand is pretty much useless. Desert sand is eroded by the air over many many years. The resulting grains are much smaller than the ones eroded by water. Also desert sand has this much rounder shape which just doesn't have any grip to it. That's one of the reasons why it flies around so easily and that just isn't good enough for concrete. But even if beach sand is this important, there's still quite a lot of it out there. So why is the illegal market so strong? I mean, it has to be called the sand mafia for a reason. Well, the answer to this question can be easily found in Morocco. A whopping 55% of the sand used in this country is from illegal sources. You could technically say that more than half of the buildings here are illegally built. So how does this illegal business work? Well, it all starts here on the beaches or in the dunes. By the way, just to be clear, the sand in these dunes isn't the same as you can find in the desert. Here, tens of people are filing pouches with the beaches sand. Using donkeys, they transport the sand uphill where everything is piled up. Obviously, this is entirely illegal, but it's actually very bad for Morocco in general as the tourists, they usually come here for the beaches and if there's no sand, there's obviously no beach. But these guys here, they actually don't really make that much from all this work. The ones getting rich from this sand mafia are the ones selling the sand. They sell it to construction companies acting like it was from legal origin even though there are some differences between legally and illegally harvested sand. Usually when beach sand is harvested for construction, it goes through an entire process to make sure it's suitable for concrete. Obviously, the ones operating this mafia at a high level just don't care about that detail. So you might be thinking how do they make sure their illegal sand is pretty much untraceable? Well, the answer to that is actually very simple, they just mix it with the legal sand. The result usually does have a texture that's suitable for making concrete. But even if it looks similar, this illegal mix does have some major flaws. Because ugly beaches is not the only thing Morocco should be worried about. One building is collapsing every 3 months in the region and there's about 60,000 accidents every year and it's all related to the weak structure of the new buildings. And that is the biggest downside of illegal sand because it usually contains a high amount of salt and these guys here they obviously don't have the expertise to make sure the salt level is adequate. All that matters is for the sand to be delivered. And as all the illegal sand gets mixed with the legal one, the resulting concrete is just much more fragile than it should be. The lifespan of buildings that should have lasted 100 years will now be much slower and obviously the risk of it just randomly collapsing will just get higher and higher over time. 